A special presentation of What Would You Do? Boy Scouts. On my honor, I will do my best. Camping. Hiking. And gay? We're hearing about it more and more. Kids coming out at an early age. My name is Nathan, and I'm gay. And up until last month, they could have been kicked out of the Boy Scouts. So we decide to come out to Amarillo, Texas with our own Scouts. Tony, Matthew, and Anthony. We saddle up at the famous Big Texan, serving up big steaks, bigger challenges, and the biggest secret. I have something to tell you. I think I'm gay. What? Don't tell our leader. We have to. It's not called Gay Scouts. It's called Boy Scouts. Here in the middle of cowboy country, what would you do? John, we're rolling. This is take number one. Matthew wastes no time revealing his secret. I have something to tell you guys. Right. Okay. You have to keep it a secret. Now. Like, really? Promise? Yeah. Will our gay scout earn a badge of support from this table? I think I like boys more than I like girls. What? I mean, it's just like a feeling that I've had recently. But That's so weird. I haven't even told my parents. You guys are the only ones who know. Please don't tell anyone. Can't you, like, go to a counselor or yeah, something? Yeah, maybe you can, like, pray it away. I can't, can't change who I am. Quickly, this woman breaks her silence and offers spiritual advice. I said, Christians don't hate the sin. We just don't like the sin. But Christians still love you. So is it okay to be gay? It's okay. You can ask for forgiveness. I believe in the Bible. What's the Bible say? Well, it's throughout the Bible. And it says, man shall not lay with man. There's a lot of good Christians in this world that will help you out with stuff like that. Huh? If you do end up accepting it and doing that, there will be people that will accept you no matter what. Oh, nice, nice. So you're breaking? Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm John Quinones. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm with What Would You Do, the TV show. You know the show? Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> you were very kind in taking time to talk to them. <laughs> well, I, I was concerned. <laughs> Your eyes are tearing. Why? Yeah, because, I mean, like I told him, I, I do have kin that are gay, but I still love them. So your heart went out to him. Why say something? I guess because I'm a mom. <laughs> I've got children of my own. And if they said to you, Mom, I'm gay. It wouldn't make a difference. I would just pray for them. With the scene in full swing, we meet others who aren't afraid to speak up and offer their own opinion. At the end of the day, you just got to be comfortable in who you are. Do you think it's wrong? Honestly, I do. But I accept everyone for who they are. I mean, if they don't accept you for who you are, then not, don't see much as wrong. I don't believe in it, but it's, it's yeah. what makes you happy. As patrons belly up to steak challenges, we belly up to one last scene. And with Matthew away, we meet this husband and wife who take a more comedic approach. Let it play out. He's too young to even know what it is. I would treat him like a normal guy, you know? I wouldn't even try to think about it that much. Yeah. Or you could say, look, I don't care what you are, man. Just start looking at me all weird. <laughs> you think it's a face? You know what I bet? I bet he's the one who thinks I'm straight. You guys are the <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No. I'm just pulling your chain yeah. out. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when I was in the Army, we had all we had homosexuals around us all the time, you know. I mean, oh, they're everywhere. Okay? Do I think it's wrong? Yeah, yeah. but... You know, the guy's got my back, too, you know? Put things in a proper perspective before you react to them. Yeah. 
As Matthew returns, the husband tries to lift his spirits. You always have friends somewhere. Just a young, young boy. Got a whole life in that. Don't, don't get all bummed out and depressed. It doesn't kill you, it makes you strong. After all, it's just another day at the What Would You Do Rodeo. How you doing, sir? How you guys doing? I'm John Quinones. He's an actor, and so are the boys. <laughs> you okay? And what did you think? You, you kind of gently try to tell the child, hey, I don't really agree with what you do, but uh, no matter what happens, I still love you always, you know? And you, you agree with that? Uh, yes, because uh, they are living and breathing and walking with us and everything. They have to make their own choice. Although many of the people we met today struggled with the idea of homosexuality. Christians don't hate the sinner. We just don't like sin. Most still voiced a clear message of acceptance for our gay boy scout. <laughs>